CDC patterns have rightly been very popular for a good many years in the UK. They've even got them now in the States at long last. It's a brilliant fly time material. It's naturally waterproof because it's from the heavily oil impregnated feathers from a duck spring land. It's very tyre friendly. It works perfectly for fly tyres. I've been playing about this last two or three seasons to try to get a really nice CDC done pattern. And I think I've yeah, finally got a cracker. And I think you're going to enjoy it. It's a prototypical pattern. You can use it to copy any of the upwings from pale wateries to March browns, even the large green drake, the mayfly. So pull a chair up and just watch this. I'm using an infuck, would you believe? And I say, would you believe? Because a lot of people say, why do you like long shanked hooks for doing dun imitations? Well, for the simple reason that a dun is no more than a nymph with wings. It's still got the same length of body. And I want to get a nice body length plus wing plus hackle. So a standard dry fly hook, I don't think, is the ideal hook for the job. I like the barbless partridge ideal nymph hooks. I'm tying this to imitate our spring olives, the large dark olive. So I've got the 16 in the, in the vise. I'm using Moser Power Silk in olive. Moisten the end of the thread. And I'm going to catch it in, trap it behind, and then tuck underneath your finger, overlocking. There you go. Park your thread, work with the short nozzle, park your thread right on the bend. And for the tails I'm using this material. This is Cock de Leo. Now this, as you can see, is, well, spells it out. Authentic plumes from Spain. Authent Authentica pluma española. And if I open it out, there are the feathers. These are the beautiful original Cock de Leons. This actually was given to me by my old pal Taft Price, well known to everybody in the UK. He gave me this many, many years ago. And there's two packs of Cock de Leon. However, the good news is that things have improved on the Cock de Leon front and we can now buy Cock de Leon commercially. So here's a little pack of plumes, nearly finished now. I think there was about a dozen in here. I'll just take one out. And the thing I like about it for tails is the lovely straight rod-like quality. Perfect for doing tails. And uh, I'll just strip off the black lower fibres, take out a little clump of about five fibres. Sit those in, check your length, trade drips, come round with the pinch and loop, and tie down, and again, and again and then if they're too long you can get hold of the butts and just drag them through and now with full thread tension I'm just going to push them downwards slightly and if I just come like that I get a nice fanning action then come forward and tie down and park your thread about at the three three quarter position whereupon you take your blade and detach your butts. Now, the rest of the fly now is all going to be CDC. That's the only change to CDC, the tails. All the rest is CDC, the body, the wings and the hackle. So, I'm using these jumbo CDC plumes. So, from each one now, I've got to do a little operation. I've got to take the tip out. So, I want to take out that centre stem. So support it with my finger, come down about a wing length, so look at the barbules for a wing length, come down, press in and snip out the tip to make a little V like that. Do that with all four and that part you snip out is going to be about the wing length. Snip out, set that down, pick that up, number three. And then the last one. 
it's not necessary to hit the exact spot but if you're somewhere in the ballpark that's good enough so now sit them on your finger like that and bundle all four together aiming to get each plume in more or less the same position that's to say aligning the snipped off portions and this is easily done with CDC it grabs all of one another doesn't slip about so there's your little clump of feathers that little point there the bottom of the V all more or less in line if I can just use my scissors as dividers that part there is going to be the wing with no centre stem centre stem has been removed so now turn them over all forward and position them so that concave side uppermost spin me bobbin up a bit cord the thread draw the fibers just stroke up like that draw the fibers together sit them so that they offer them up so the concave side uppermost sit them on your hook shank down near the butts and circle around just to lasso them to a little bit of tension and then drag through and slide back slide back slide back until you just feel it drop off that center stem and then apply tension 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 make sure they sat on top of the shank if they're twisted take them off start again now sweep those fibers back spin the bobbin again come to the front hold them back tight and bead up hard and whack on loads of turns there to bead those fibers upright two more turns right divide those out into two even clumps so you've got to make sure that you get the same amount of fiber feather fiber on each side otherwise the wings will look decidedly lopsided so just spend a few seconds just making sure that you're happy with equal amounts of fibre and then once you've got them divided take the top feather there they are one two three four as you put them in take the top feather bring that forward come underneath with your finger and thumb like that and sweep the clump back so that you can drop that forward it's essential that that sits forward like that nice and flat it'll spring up when you let go of it don't worry about that just lasso it like that and trap down trap down trap down trap down you don't need to murder it with tension just tight down snugly at the moment then bring its partner through the next one through that same gap all the time coaxing these fibers some may want to get dragged down so you've got to make sure that they're pricked up right and trap that down if it wanders off to the side like mine has done just hike it back now at the moment the wings are now like that and I'm going to bring them up more vertical I'm going to take the two outside ones that's these two last ones that are laying flat I'm going to take them and I'm going to come round the outside it's better I think to take the far one first trap down with just one turn bring the near one and you're bringing them in you're taking them round the outside this time and trap down that's brought your wing clump more vertical so now there's your two wing clumps nicely divided but not too widely splayed so to finish the fly take your tying thread now down the shank back to the base of the tails make sure you don't upset the set of the tails bring that CDC plume back so I'm bringing the two out outer plumes back take the top one that went through the two wings take that through stroke up the fibers to make sure that you haven't trapped any down so there's the first one that came through the wing that's going to be left there cord up your thread again and now simply circle around with your thread go 
underneath the hook shank, full tension, murder it with tension, and again, and now, to make the body simply spiral forward, making nice, fairly close ribs, all the way up to the back of the thoracic hump. Come on top, through the wing, through the two wings, and round the hook shank at the eye. And then come in with your scissors and snip that off, lift up, trim off, last one which reveals your tails. There's my tails intact, haven't been touched. So I've got a nice tapering body of CDC with a nice even spacing of ribs all the way up. So now what I do, I pick up my half millimetre comb because this butt that's left what I'm going to do with this, there's a few fibres in here, I don't want to waste them. I'm going to make little legs with those, little hackles. So I take my half millimetre comb and I just rip in there, dragging out, stripping those fibres off the centre stem. You should have left and right. Lift up the stem, which you trim off. Now this bundle of fibres are going to be your legs, so what you do now is you just gather them up and snip off leaving about a quarter or three, three sixteenths extended like that. So there's your there's your little trim clump. Now if you look on top you will see there is a definite left and right. So all you do now is you go in like that with your finger and thumb, coax them to lay back. You want them actually back and down. So I'm coming in from top. Come with your finger and thumb, hold them back and take a turn or two round. If some come forward, push them back again. You might need two or three goes before you get them all back like that. And then, before you do the whip finish, make sure they're sitting right. If they've moved at this stage, just go underneath and drag them back. You want some, you want even amounts both sides. And then come straight in with your two finger whip finish. You may not get them all. Pull through. Job's done. So you've a bit of trimming to do now. Just look at the spread of your hackles at the front, your little waist fibres, which you can just primp them into position. They should just make a little semicircle, semicircular rough at the front. And your wing, you can leave it like that, just as natural tips, but some people like to just shape it up a little bit. What I'll do is I'll just bring both both wing clumps together and just trim round and make a nice dun shaped wing. So you can just trim that trailing edge and just make it like a capital D just to copy the shape of a dun's wing. And there you've got almost perfect little dun. Take a V out of the middle make it sit nice. So there you've got an all CDC fly. So one last job to do now, just seal those thread wraps, use my usual head cement, this fly tight, and that will suck into the thread wraps and seal the head. And that should sit now on my hand. It should just look like a large dark olive drifting down. So there we are, it should just sit on the water like that. So that's my all CDC done. <laughs>